everyone, this is 3-1 Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone back to part number 7 of my Tecumseh Snow King Carburetor Rebuild video. So, let's get started. When we put these back together, we always got to be kind of careful not to go too, too tight on these little screws. They strip easy. We're just going to fasten down our 516s on the top. Then reinstall our choke cap. Choke adjustment knob. That just about does it for that. Now that we have our Tecumseh carburetor all put back together and reinstalled, we have our vacuum hose for our push button primer all corrected and it's all fixed. And well, fortunately, we've gotten a snowfall last night that was about seven to eight inches. So now we have a good base to take this outside. And we're going to finish up this project by adjusting the high speed circuit out there with the snow load weight on it. Now, the low speed circuit has been set inside in the garage, and we have both of them, the high and the low, set pretty much close to the factory specifications at this point in time. But we all know that the weather conditions, along with the temperature, really make a giant difference on the, the final adjustment with um, this particular type of carburetor out in the snow. Now unfortunately this carburetor does not have the prefixed main jets that are typically the nut that's on the bottom of the carburetor that holds it together. But they're fairly easy to adjust and it's pretty close to the way it, it's going to run right now and we're just it's only going to take a few minutes to let it warm up and and get operating out there in the, the cold weather. Now the temperature outside is about 22 to 25 degrees. Um, I checked it this morning and it's it's not really, it's cold but it's not that bad. It's kind of right in the middle so we've got ideal conditions to set this and finalize this project. So our next step is to take it outside and then we're going to do a quick test on it and get it, this project wrapped up.
So there we have it, our finalization of the Tecumseh Snow King Carburetor Rebuild video. Now with this particular episode, or these episodes, we finally had a breakthrough and we finally converted and got our camera to go up to high definition on YouTube. Now I've been staying up for about six to seven weeks every night trying to to figure out how to work these um, systems to make these things convert and to, to take these videos and make it so they go up a little bit clearer and we finally had a breakthrough with this particular with these episodes on this um, Troy built snowblower so well anyways I hope you guys stay tuned in to further episodes coming up and till next time this is 31 pockets and thanks for watching